Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthy Hong Kong. Around October last year, the first human randomized controlled clinical trial using diet and lifestyle intervention to reverse epigenetic age was conducted. The participants in the treatment group were younger by an average of 1.96 years in just eight weeks. In fact, when compared to participants in the control group, they tested an average of 3.23 years younger at the end of the program, according to the Horvath DNA MH clock. The preprint paper titled Reversal of Epigenetic Age with Diet and Lifestyle in a Pilot Randomized Clinical Trial was uploaded to MedArchive website in July of this year. The basic lifestyle interventions used in this trial were diet, exercise, supplementation, sleep and a relaxation breathing technique. We are very excited to read about this and would like to share with you some of the details in this video. First a disclaimer, we are just sharing the information in this clinical research paper. This video does not provide any medical advice. Also do note that the supplements mentioned in this video are the ones used in the trial and it is not a recommendation from us. With that, let's dive into the study write-up. Here is the paper on MedArchive. Please do know that this is a preprint and has not been peer-reviewed yet, but we think the information is exciting and worth looking into. As mentioned, the interventions in the study were diet, exercise, relaxation practices and sleep. Let's go through each one of these. We will start with the suggested diet. They say that there is a lack of evidence over what is the best diet to reverse aging. So they used one that they thought would support the expected biochemistry and has been shown to promote good health. In general, this was plant-centered with support for methylation and other pathways and some animal products. It also included a 12-12 intermittent fasting regimen and restricted carbohydrates specifically to lower glycemic cycling. Two supplements were also included, one being a fruit and vegetable powder and one a probiotic. The detailed diet page. I will not go through this now. You can see that the emphasis is on organic produce with more plant-based than animal. If you wanted to look at it in more detail, you can pause the video or it is available in the appendix of the paper, which is linked to below. The general guidance I found interesting. Organic is favoured along with the inclusion of healthy fats. Grains and legumes are both in the to avoid list. There are two supplements used in this trial. One is called Phytoganics, a combination of organic vegetables, fruits, seeds, herbs, plant enzymes, prebiotics and probiotics which was to be taken twice a day. For your reference, it is a product of Metagenics. You can see more detail on the product here. It seems that you need a practitioner code in order to buy this from their website. We did find another website that sold the product at $75.34 for 29 portions. So if two per day, this would be $5.20 per day. The other supplement is Ultraflora Intensive Care, also from Metagenics. This is a probiotic supplement mainly containing Lactobacillus plantarum. The trial protocol specified that it should also be taken twice daily. This also needed a practitioner code to buy from the website. Again, we found another website selling it for $46.95 for 60 capsules. Two capsules a day would be around $1.57. So if you follow the protocol in the trial, this in total would be $6.77 a day. The next area was exercise. There was not much detail on this, but the protocol called for 30 minutes at least 5 days a week at 60-80% to 80 exertion. The trial also included a specific relaxation practice using a method called relaxation response for stress reduction. The relaxation response technique is designed to elicit a state of deep relaxation which engages the parasympathetic nervous system. It's a way to turn off the fight or flight response and bring the body back to pre-stress levels. In the trial protocol, it's suggested to practice 10 to 20 minutes twice per day. The steps of the process are available in a link in the description. The technique was invented by Dr. Herbert Benson from Harvard Medical School. There is also a book, The Relaxation Response, by Dr. Benson, which you can reference. The importance of sleep was also recognized with a recommendation for at least seven hours a night. So that was the protocols that the treatment participants were expected to follow. In terms of measuring the outcome of the study, this was explicitly set to be based on Horvath's DNA MH clock and to see whether it could be slowed or potentially reversed. 
You may be aware of a small pilot study led by Dr. Fahey in 2019 that we covered in a previous video, which showed over a 12-month period a reversal of the epigenetic clock. Let's quickly compare the two studies. Here we can see the key metrics for the studies. The Fahey study had 11 participants, and this study had 18. This study also included a control group of 20. All participants were male in both of the studies. The age ranges were quite similar. One major difference was in the intervention, where the Fahey study required daily injections of growth hormone and prescription drugs, while this study used lifestyle changes that we can all apply. The duration of the study was also different, with the Fahey study being 12 months and this study being only two. And finally, the purpose was different. The Fahey study was testing to see if the thymus could be regenerated in middle-aged men, while this study explicitly looked at the epigenetic clock as the marker. And we can see the results. In the Fahey study, the participants got 1.5 years younger, while in this study, it was 1.96 years. Let's quickly review the results again. Compared to the control group, the treatment group were on average 3.23 years younger at the end of the eight-week program. Compared to their earlier selves, the treatment group were 1.96 years younger, though the statistical significance of this was borderline. In clinical studies, the p-figure should be less than 0.05. And here we can see the results plotted on a graph, showing the movement in years for each of the participants during the trial, with the red dots being the participants who underwent the treatment and clearly had a better outcome than the control group. In the discussion section, the report calls out two key features. It is the first randomized controlled clinical trial looking at reversing epigenetic aging and it is the first to look at diet and lifestyle interventions to reduce the same biological age. One thing that has been implicit in the trial that needs to be mentioned is the assumption that DNA methylation and the DNA M age clock is directly related to aging. It should be noted that this is an idea that has not achieved universal acceptance. And following on from that, it has not been established whether interventions that slow or reverse the biological clock will necessarily curtail the risks of age-related diseases, which is something that will need further investigation. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the video informative. We are very excited to see this study which showed lifestyle intervention can have positive effects on aging. It's very encouraging to see the possibility of slowing or even reversing aging in a short period of time based on eating healthier, doing regular exercises and always finding time to relax. For us, we already do regular exercise four days a week and sleep eight hours a night. Our diet is low in carbs and we try to avoid grains, legumes and dairy as well as sugary and other processed foods. After we study the trial, we are excited to incorporate the relaxation response technique into our daily meditation. I'm sure many of you, like us, try different sorts of life intervention to maintain and improve your health. Please comment below what works for you. We are very interested to hear what your protocols are. Please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for notifications of new releases. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and will speak to you again soon.